to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Kamigami robot. This here is a robot that you can actually build from a scratch sheet of paper into a fully programmable robot that can go ahead and race, even fight. So it's actually quite exciting. Now, this was sent over by Mattel, a company we've seen before that makes a lot of great products such as this one right here. So if you want your very own, check out their link down below in the description. Now, this particular robot is a scorpion, so it should be quite exciting to see how this all unfolds. Literally, unfolds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build this thing. Alright, so this here's our box that kind of spells it out for you, kind of shows how you fold them and snap them together to build yourself a cool looking robot. On the back here, it tells you about all the different things you do. First thing you want to build it, uh, so it creates it from a flat sheet of paper, and then you go ahead and program it, which you can do the unique movements as well as sounds, even lights. And then on the bottom here, you can go ahead and play with it using the app itself, and you can even battle against other different robots. Then you can go ahead and upload different things and watch them online, so it's actually a really cool thing. So let's go ahead and open this box up. Alright, uh, so this here is the top of the box, uh, so you have like a sticker palette, uh, as well as a among different pieces, uh, kind of looks like it's kind of all clips together. And this here is the heart and soul of it, uh, our robot itself. Wow, this thing's actually a really simple design. Uh, you see like a clear plastic case, I do see some LEDs on the bottom there, uh, and we got a power button here as well. Uh, and I feel like you just kind of build around this thing, so we'll go ahead and put that to the side for now. Over here we have a bunch of different clips, so no, it doesn't require screws, but it does come with clips, so you just go ahead and press them in. And then we have ourselves a charging cable, so that is a good thing to know that this is a rechargeable robot. Uh, and yeah, so this here is our sticker sheet, so I would imagine the instruction manual should be in here. Cool. Uh, so we have ourselves a quick start guide, uh, so you go onto the website itself and then it'll show you step by step how to build it using the app, so we'll be doing that very shortly. And then check that out, this here is pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so it's actually got a two tone color to it and it's actually got a good sturdy feel to it. It's definitely not a sheet of paper but it's actually a good quality plastic but it does seem like something you can go ahead and kind of fold. Uh, and everything just kind of pops right out. So we're gonna go ahead and lay out all these different pieces. Uh, the quality on these are actually really cool. It almost looks transparent as well, so very nice. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and build ourselves a robot. is finally done and actually looks pretty crazy. Um, now the build process itself was quite tedious uh, but I love how everything kind of just folds right into each other and then yeah the quality itself of the material is actually a very high quality so it does take a lot of abuse which is great uh, and you can actually see it is translucent so you do see the LEDs kind of illuminating throughout the whole entire thing. So we have ourselves the uh, pincer itself over here and the stinger on the top. Uh, everything is kind of movable but obviously it doesn't move with the robot itself but you can go ahead and kind of shape it the way you want to and just kind of play with it. And then on the bottom here, the chassis is actually quite interesting design. Uh, I'm definitely kind of excited to see how this all plays out. And yeah, so we have the app ready to go. Now we have a few different modes that it appears. So there's a run, dance, tag, battle, and code mode. And then there's a trophy as well. It shows that how many feet it does run as well on the bottom right. So let's click on run. Uh, so a very standard uh, setup in terms of controls go. You do see a joystick on the left and then you see like a few different colors on the right. So you can change the color the right there, Let's check that out. So I'm pressing the LED button here and you can see the different colors. Uh, you can change the speed. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. what was that? Um, so I think that was like a sprint mode. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that right now, but let's try out the joystick. Cool! So I'm going, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, very fast. Um, so this is forward. Uh, this is back, uh, this is right, and this is left, oh. uh, so right, left, 
a very uh, interesting design setup. Uh, the movement itself is actually uh, quite exciting. Um, it does have a lot, it kind of jumps as it does it, so, and it does have a good amount of speed. <laughs> Uh, and it does have a directional thing as you can see on the bottom on the right itself There's an arrow so as I rotate it, that arrow itself is rotating uh, And then here's like another sprint mode Whoa <laughs> Definitely a very fast so let me put my hand right here and hit that button again And it'll actually stop because it has a sensor it knows when to stop so very cool uh, And very exciting so let's go back now and here is oh cool. I got an achievement so, and it's on the bottom right shows how many feet it's run, uh, and then there's a dance mode. So, huh, kind of similar setup. So you can control the movement of the robot itself with the uh, joystick, but there's some dance buttons as well. So let's try that out and hit this. Huh. So that's its dance, so you can actually uh, go ahead and cycle it. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey, come back here. So, yeah, so you got a few different preset dances in there. So that's actually pretty interesting that you can go ahead and play with the robot of its nature. Now here's tag mode. Uh, so you Looks like if you can play with another robot, you can actually shoot and it'll actually uh, shoot at the other robot and then I'm guessing when you ever you get hit, uh, the ro other robot becomes a tagger kind of feature. So pretty interesting. Uh, then we have battle mode. Now looks like there's a health meter and then you can actually fire at the other robot and you got like a shield. Uh, so you do see that you know it does have sensors here as well. So when it does get a hit, it'll actually demonstrate it on the uh, app itself. Now here's coding. Uh, coding allows you to go ahead and control different features. So for instance, if I say uh, red, oops, so you just go ahead and drag and drop, blue, green, or purple, and then hit start. We can hit run code. It'll stop and it'll just do it just like that. So it'll go. So run code, stop, and change colors. So you can go ahead and create your own thing. So you can do different movements. You can do sounds, uh, like a whistle. So let's try that next. So we'll put that first. And uh, hit start. So it makes that sound and then it'll play the functions. So it does give you an idea in terms of coding goes, a very good uh, aspect in terms of STEM and teaching children about robotics as well as technology. Uh, now achievements here, so you got a lot of different achievements that you can go ahead and unlock. Uh, the achievement itself uh, just kind of gives you like personal goals and uh, kind of work with it. So yeah, overall a really cool looking robot, the Nonetheless. Uh, definitely exciting to build as well as program. Uh, very simple design in the sense of how it functions. Uh, but yeah, you can always go ahead and customize it and buy the different kind of robots. Uh, again, a very high quality piece, definitely a very nice uh, toy, especially for a children, child just to learn about robotics as well as folding and understanding how things kind of function together. It's uh, overall a fun piece. Now, if you guys had any questions about this particular Kamigami robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.